Hello, everybody, and welcome to Table Hops for our Dungeons & Dragons Critical Role Call of the Netherdeep campaign. Uh, I am currently drinking a homebrew of Hefeweizen in this really cool Dungeon Master mug because I need it. It's been a day. But we are here to play some Dungeons & Dragons uh, where our characters have just uh, made Wall it to French the... Fry. <laughs> French fry. French fry. <laughs> One great sale, two great <laughs> Um, made it to the entrance of what is known as the Betrayer's Rise, this uh, evil fortress uh, on um, the outskirts of Bazozan. And they've just taken down a pair of um, demons, gloomstalkers, that burst forth from the entranceway. Uh, so right in... Um, the this is where we're uh, continuing from, where the characters have just recovered from this battle. I think we took our rests and did our whatever hit points we needed to do. The only person I see injured is Io. Do we need to hit hit dice them? Uh, I don't know. They can short rest. They have fifteen hit dice or something for some reason. Jesus. I don't. It's I don't crazy. know how magic works or how monsters work. It's what it is. I don't know how this D and D works. No, I don't know. Well, uh, you're at full now, Io. Good. Let's just do that. <laughs> works for me. It was a great rest. All right. Now, uh, from this point, oh, Sarvagon, thank you for the subscription. That's me. I also That's see me. that uh, Wizard Tread has also subscribed. I don't know why it didn't pop up there, but congratulations to both of you. You you have to put a message into. You have to like oh. click to put it in the chat. Oh. Yeah. Well, now I can't. This isn't a good. This isn't the guy running our Twitch channel. I don't know how any of this shit works. <laughs> All right. No. So, anyways, uh, with that in in uh, in in this instance, what were your characters like to do? Uh, I think we're ready to go inside. Um, right? mm -hmm. Bodhi has uh, some memory problems, much like myself, and does not remember what we are about to go do. Uh. I know we're going to go somewhere for someone. We're about to go yeah. into this uh Betrayer's Rise. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, we're going oh we're going in. Okay. Yep, I remember now. We're looking for the other <laughs> We're not leaving, we're going in. <laughs> we're going in. Perhaps the other uh the other elf lady and the other team are looking for him. And uh answers to the necklace. That's it. You know there is a uh, uh the elf you mentioned, uh Aloisa, uh, she may be inside somewhere. Um, she was the one who tried to bribe some of the Aurora Watch to um, escort her through it. She was looking for some sort of uh, ruidium, some sort of mineral. Cool. But Ao gets a bad feeling about that bee, and so does everybody else we talk to. Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Definitely and suspicious. But like rich. Ruidus. But rich. Yeah, she offered us money. All right, so the large double doors that the demons burst from, you just see darkness on the other side of it. It's a ajar. You said it was a door. A door. No. 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 <laughs> uh, I will uh, cast uh, uh, Dancing Lights. Okay. Get some, uh, get some storm clouds going that give off light. So as you sort of uh, put that into the portal that has been burst open by the demons that have fallen... Uh, you kind of move towards it. You see the Gloomstalkers, their their corpses are actually melting away into that black ichor-like material. Uh, and you s can see inside uh, what looks to be a larger chamber. Um, you can't make out too many details, but you don't see any movement uh, coming from the other side of the door. You just see a long sort of cor a corridor. Uh, is I was just going to say, is Irvin the only one in our group that wouldn't have dark vision? Irvin does not have dark vision, but the light that was cast by Delane will allow him to see dimly, I believe. Is Dancing Lights dim? No, it's just light. It sheds it's light. Bright, light and bright light. There's like three globs of light. Okay, so it's like three, basically looked, the equivalent of three torches. Mm -hmm. I actually don't have dark vision. I looked it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. So now you got a light source with this Dancing Lights. How long does it last? Concentration? Dancing oh. Uh, it's just, it's a, uh, it's a, what's the tiny one? Cantrip? Cantrip. <laughs> the teeny cantrip. spell? Dance, a, dancing teeny lights? Spell. 
a spell. It's a literally <laughs> spell. It's a it's one action. It lasts well concentration up to one minute. But I just keep doing it, I guess. Because it's a cantrip. Got it. Yeah, cool. That works. The equivalent of pulling a quarter out of someone's ear in D and D dancing lights. Right. So at this point, the door is open. You see that. Oh, that uh, only lasts a minute. We'll just say it lasts longer. Let's just move on. So, because you can just recast it, because it's a cantrip. Mm-hmm. I don't understand the reason it wouldn't be. So, uh, you have these storm clouds, but they're actually like illuminous. Um, uh, as it lights the cavern, would you like to enter? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Oh, uh, before we get delving, um, seven five seven near dad gave us inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. We I appreciate it. it. Yeah. Thank so you. yeah, very appreciative. If you guys are new to the channel, you can spend your pint points, the little points you earn for watching us, uh, to uh, give inspiration to the party, which helps them immensely, as has been proven uh, in the past. So uh, the door is open. Io moves really close to you, Delane, and you see uh, fear and worry in her eyes. Are you, uh, are, you, are you sure you want to do this with us? Uh, at that point, know. she steals her gaze for a moment and says, lead the way. And she's trying to basically muster the courage to move forth. Thorn just flies in. She's like, yes. fuck it. All right. Lead the way. <laughs> Seth sees some of these um, sort of rough etchings in the uh, outside of the uh, betrayers rise and has this sort of overwhelming nauseous feeling go over them as if it's like just the evil of this place is too much uh, and Seth unfortunately decides to head back towards Bazozan she'll stay with the veterans and one of them will escort her back Okay. the rest of the party moves with you alright so as you move in I'm going to reveal the rest of the room to you Boink. Uh, this this room is a little confusing, so let me just uh, describe it before you guys react. Um, here we go. You stand on a blood-stained bridge. That's the place where Delane's figure is right now. And extends over a chasm of swirling m- silver mist. These sort of uh, locations uh, right like here-ish this section here actually is below and you see this swirling mist below so just imagine this is a those i thought they were walls but they're not it's a depression a hole okay gotcha uh so you see swirling mist uh on the ground uh below you in that um chasm on the far side of the bridge where thorn is is a closed double door of black stone inscribed with a circle containing the profile of a smiling woman. The symbol is gouged with deep marks as if something with claws has tried but failed to scour it from the stone. Yikes. Um... I look back at, like, the veteran and it's like... Do we just go inside? Just push the door? Oh, uh, ho, 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 uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm the rogue here. Let me do rogue things. All right. I'm not the rogue anymore. Remember that? <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to be the rogue. I was going to be the dumb barbarian that pushed us through. Bogmar, make an investigation check. And Thorn, um, the, you hear the uh, veteran say, I'm not sure. I've, I've never seen that door before. What? Wait, it just popped out of nowhere? 16. Uh, they said that the interior changes. Mm-hmm. Part of Y'all hear Delane on that one? Yep. Nope. Random encounter. They said that the interior can change. Oh, right. But this, aren't we still, like, on the exterior? Like, isn't this an exterior door? Like, this is well, what's on the to door? Get or just like every everything about it changes? Once you get past the main gates that you just passed through, it's apparently different for whoever ventures inside. Mm. Well, all right. So what, what does the woman on the door look like? So you're looking at it, and um, Bogmar, you recognize uh, that this smiling woman, a woman who has the gouge uh, through uh, her um, visage there, is 
Come on, work for me. Who does number two work for? Uh, it is a engraving of the symbol of Avandra, the change bringer. Right. The re oh, oops, oh. that's a marker. That's a good sign. I don't know. All right. So, does that have any traps on it? Uh, it does not appear to be trapped, but it, um, and it doesn't appear to be locked, but it definitely is closed. Uh, you don't see any. Let me put this a different way. It doesn't have any mechanical, like lock on it. Like you don't see a keyhole, let's say. But you haven't, unless you tell me otherwise, you haven't like touched it. No. No, just looking so far. Uh, well, Thorn, I'll let you lead the way. It does not seem trapped or dangerous, but I don't know. I push on it. Oh, boy. You push on the door, and the, the outside of it feels cold against your hand, almost like a steel that's been out in the snow. And as you push on it, it doesn't budge an inch. Uh, chat is saying hmm what no map for chat us sorry is... yep appreciate you thank you so much bear wall there you go uh i am i'm moving a little slow so i appreciate the support which tells me chris you fuck it up make it work the chat should now be that? able to see the map i think i need to restart roll 20 i uh i mean i'll send the lights in if the door is open, did I? I'm not. I don't think right we now? open the door. You, uh, so you, it's the, just the, cold. The, the door behind, yeah, the door behind Maggie, the the entrance gates were ajar from the when the demons burst out, but the door with the woman's face on it um, was uh, uh, is not moving, even though Thorn's pushing on it. Oh. Um, is there a handle, or is it just the face? It's just, just the, the face. There doesn't seem to be any um, any handle or mechanism of any way uh, it does look like from the construction you assume it pushes inward uh, does the sigil is the sigil split by the center of the door or it is. is it like it is it is do we need um, to like invoke her somehow um does anybody understand magic -y things that can maybe look at this and make some sort of a check to see if magical oh. means could open this door. Galsariad could. That guy. Thorn starts kicking the door. And check to see if it's magical, but it. I mean, I can also just kind of use intuition on it. Delane, can you describe what you're doing exactly with the door? I, I'm just. I'm saying probably. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Galsariad moves. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I wasn't doing anything. I was saying I can check it, but I don't want to waste the spell slot. Okay. Um, you can also just, if you have Arcane as a thing, you can just move up and investigate it in that way. I can do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just quickly say Galsariad looks towards it, doesn't seem to see anything more than Thorn does, uh, and then moves over towards the Swirling Mist. Delane, I'll get to you in just a moment. Um, let's say you just, I'm just going to plop you there. Uh, as you move past Galsariad, you notice that he's looking down into the mist, into those the pits on, the, on either side of this bridge, and he looks at you and says, do you all hear that? Can everyone make a perception check, please? Boom! Hey. 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 Did we get that money? Mm-hmm. Did you get an ad 20? Nice. Oh, I thought that was me at first. So, Bogmar, unfortunately, you can't. Um, as as Maggie is uh, moving in, uh, you don't hear what near where Galsariad is, but the rest of you hear this whispering, hissing voice that says, "Together, yes, we can break them. Together, come to us. Let us catch you. Let us have you. Come to us. We won't let you fall." And you notice Galsariad is moving very close to the edge. I'll just reach out and grab him. All right. <laughs> he steadies himself. He says, yeah. well, perhaps we can go down that way? I think that sounds like a real bad idea, bud. 
Uh, Delane, you notice... Rarely a good idea to listen to whispers. You're not wrong. Um, you notice as you approach the door, it begins to glow and pulse red. Like a good red or a bad red. A cautious red. Stop sign red. <laughs> just Delane? Just Delane. Do we see it? Or yes, is it just the rest of you see it when Delane approaches. I guess I'll say... Vandra, would you mind letting us in? There's no response. It begins to radiate that faint crimson light. It pulses as if beckoning for you to touch it. You notice that it gets brighter when you get closer to Delane, but if you take a step back, it fades. Thorn is still kicking the door. It does nothing to the door, besides infuriate you. <laughs> uh, everybody step back. Dermot, Dermot. Move. Oh, sorry. My bad. You, you can move me. I'm easily malleable. Just move. <laughs> Aren't they in the pit? Yeah, no. They've gone into the pit. They haven't. They, they didn't did jump it, into no. the pit. They're looking down. It, it looks see like the, that's a... The purple a, lines... Around the pit? Yeah, the purple... Yeah, they, they, yeah. they are also around the pit. The map is a little confusing. They're like little balconies. The, 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 the purple oh, squigglies, okay. those are the pits. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a little confusing. But Galsariad was in, was intrigued by the voices. Touch the door. All right. As soon as you touch the door, it's almost as if it's a, a brand new door with uh, perfectly oiled hinges, and it just slides open for you, Delane. It I likes at, you. I look at Thorn. I'm like, oh, you loosened it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Let me just reveal some area. All right, you see a, a serpentine hallway that continues to the north. Send the lights. All right, they illuminate around the corner before you lose sight of them. Thorn has flown in. Bogmar's yep. in. Well, shit. All right. All right, Delane, Bodhi, you moving in? I'm coming. Bogmar, do you want to take the lead, or do you want Thorn to be real dumb and fly ahead? Yes. Yes, just uh, stay close to me, but I will be keeping an eye out very closely to everything going on as we proceed. So as you step through the um, threshold, uh, as you move past him, Bogmar, you hear Dermot say, Now, now Bogmar, be, be careful. We're not sure what's around. And at that point, uh, you turn around and all of them are gone. All of who? What? Like Bogmar's by themselves? No, like just uh, all no, of like that party is gone. Uh, and the doors that uh, easily open to uh, Delane have cl are closed now behind you. You didn't hear them close. What did you do? Uh, oh boy. Can I open it? Uh, yeah, you can go back and try and open it, sure. Delane, as you move closer to it, again, it begins to glow red, only for you. And when you push on the door, or I guess on this side, there's going to be a handle to pull on the door. Uh, it opens easily, and you see the the chamber that you just exited, but it's empty. But I don't see Io or anybody. You do not. Well? Uh, what the hell just happened? Did you blink them out of the... like some DM bullshit to me. <laughs> Did you touch something? Did you touch something when you walked around the corner? Is there like a switch? I uh, did not see a switch, no. I think this is just, you know, change bringer bullshit. I don't think it's something we did. Okay. Maybe they're still here. We just don't see them. And she starts screaming Maggie really loud over and over again. It echoes through the chamber, going. but you don't. Uh, the only sound you hear is your voice reverberating back off the stone walls. Thorn, Thorn. We're I, probably not I, in I, here by ourselves, so you might want to... I'm trying to find them! I'm bent over <laughs> trying to feel for a dermot-sized little one everywhere. 
You find no dermid hey. lumps. Oh no. I don't Oh no. <laughs> no. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Would you like to turn back, or would you like to see the, or do you want me to describe the hallway that you found yourselves in? I guess we'll go down. The yeah, I, I think this is a, we have to go forward to find them, not backwards, so. The walls of this hallway are covered with carvings that depict a great battle involving mortals, celestials, and fiends. A faint whistling noise emerges from the walls, sounding almost like breathing or snoring. Sort of like intake of air, like that kind of. The walls are alive with the sound of music. What do the <laughs> walls feel like? Uh, let's see here. Looking at the at the walls, you see the walls have a have scores of one inch diameter holes drilled into them, all around them, and the sound oh, seems like to it. be coming from that. Mm -mm. Um. That's like the perfect little size for little insects that like to chew you up. Maybe we should, uh, we should keep on moving. Darts. So darts, as I move yeah. forward, I'm going to be looking for anything that looks like a press plate on the floor or okay. like a trap. Um, what is the, kind. what does the ceiling look like? Uh, it's about 20 feet uh, off the ground. Uh, from where you are, and you see that the holes again continue. If you weren't looking for them, you'd probably miss them because they are um, sort of integrated in the carvings of these battles. Like, it's very intricate, so it's easy to hide these holes. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move forward very cautiously, I guess. Alright. Do uh, the carvings continue on the walls as we go down? Would you like to investigate the carvings? I was just asking if they continue. They do. They that, that entire um, basically everything I've revealed is carvings. Okay. Um, does the battle seem to follow any storyline? Ah, let's have uh, everyone can choose to either make a history or religion check. And based on what you roll, I'll tell you what you decipher terrible at both of those shit either way thorn yeah. they are carvings oh thorn I'm just from here wow All she right. licks the ball <laughs> oh perfect I'll get to that in a minute um so she does not lick the wall oh boo <laughs> I was excited alright so anyway uh, looking at the, let's see, your history. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, Bodhi, even though you're not from this realm, you recognize this battle um, as a... Um, from, from, from legend. Uh, it's definitely, it's prime deities that are uh, breaking through a garrison um, to reach uh, the uh, bet betrayer gods. Uh, it's a, it's a, classic uh, depiction of this uh, battle. What's strange is prominently depicted in one of the scenes of this battle is a um, proud melancholy warrior with curly hair and carrying a spear and shield. And by his side are two figures. Oh, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it there. Uh, Kioi74. Probably butchered that. Let's move on. So, um... <laughs> Uh, by two figures, the, uh, a white haired girl, no more than 12 years old, and a young adult woman with hair that flows behind her, turning onto a road uh, upon which countless uh, soldiers march. Now, uh, Delane, you and Bogmar, you, oh, sorry, not Delane, uh, Bogmar, with your religion check, you uh, realize that these two figures are common depictions of. Uh, uh, Sahine, Sah Sahanine, or I'm not sure how to pronounce that, the Moonweaver, and Evandra, the Changebringer. Sahanine, I think. Sahanine? All right. Yeah. So again, these two gods, the Moonweaver and the Changebringer, are accompanying this uh, warrior with curly hair, a spear, and a shield in this depiction. Thorn, as you look into uh, at these holes in the walls, uh, they begin to look back at you and you see an eyeball 
floating inside one of the hole and then sucking back in and you kind of follow it to another hole and then the eyeball reappears then it begins to push forward and it begins to ooze out and you see teeth and muscle fiber beginning to pull out of these holes moving out like a play-doh mold as these horrendous figures emerge from the surrounding areas you this would be much more dramatic if I could just put a miniature on the board, but I cannot, so here they come. Ah, oh, the gibberings! And if, I mean, I was, oh, I was fucking that she, like, fucking with you that she... I know, but they come out of the... I, I, what I'm doing is because you uh, identify the holes, they're not gaining surprise. But they are oozing out and attacking. So with that, guys, we gotta roll initiative. More gibberings. <laughs> These fundo friends, in oh, case you forgot. Oh, no. How could... Ooh, who just crit failed? Uh oh. Oh. I've gone 21 and then 20. All right. That what? doesn't bode well for what my first attack would be. All right, Bogmar, you get to. Oops, did I miss somebody? Uh, Thorn. I'm in there now. Right. Thorn got a nat. Thorn got a nat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, 202. Uh, yeah. Going in descending order, we got Thorn. You're first as this thing just emerges in front of you. Sweet. Um, I hit it with an axe. Yeah. That is not going to do it. Are you sure? You called it. I mean, that's, <laughs> um, that's pretty close to the one. Uh, do I get? I get an extra attack, yeah. So I hit it again. Okay. That one hits. Sweet. Yeah, Barold, we make them 200 if you roll a nat 20, just to make the, <laughs> the, the computer figure I out. I was... You were raging? That works for I me. wasn't, but I can. Sure, Would you not? like to? Yeah. What? I like to rage. Um, let me do that. And do that. Come on, number three. It's a uh, four. Him. Four is yeah. magic infuses a weapon of your choice you're holding. Until the rage ends, the weapon's damage type changes to force, and it gains the light and thrown properties of normal range, blah, 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 reappears in your hand. All right, so you got a magic weapon now. What do you want it to be, your battle Peace. axe? Yeah, that's all I've got. It's my battle axe. All right, cool. So you can throw it now, and it'll come back to you like like Thor. Sweet. Uh, I took the damage. Anything else? Yeah, it is a cool effect. No. All right, moving on to Bogmar. I still want to see the flumps, though. I know. I really want to explode in flumps. <laughs> That's why we're all here. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to attack the guy. Okay, 24 does hit. I'm, I'm assuming you're attacking the one next to you. Yes. All right, that's going to be 10 piercing damage. No sneak attack because of no triggers for it. Oh, God. Oops, that was a mistake. I, I accidentally put him to 10 hit points instead of reducing him by 10 hit points. There you go. Oh, there, that, that was right. Nope. Yeah, we like, no, we like that. That was incorrect. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and then my offhand attack. Oh, boy. 11 will hit it, actually. Wow. They're literally big meat sacks. They're Four. So no. <laughs> <laughs> Got big the damage. Meat sack. Uh, I think that's all I have, right? Mm -hmm. Now, is your carver an offhand? Is the carver your... Oh, you already have the modifier. All right, cool. Just making sure it's on there. I do, yeah. That works. All right, if that ends your turn, any movement or anything? Uh, no. I'm going to stay there for now. Bodhi's up, and then it's all three mouthers. Ooh. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're going to smack the one uh, right in front of me. Wait. That's a net 20. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. We got 13 damage. 13 and then damage. we're going to spend a key point, get furry of blows in. Uh-huh. All right. First one. Hell yeah. That one hits. 
eight more bludgeoning damage. Nicely done. And plus... Eleven will hit. Nice. Five more. Fucking them up. Five more damage. Any weird right, monkey then. business I need to know about? Uh, no, because we're still, still pretty low level. All right, just double check it. <laughs> Uh, Cause I don't know Trouble how the game it. works. Trouble check it. Trouble check Trouble it. Check it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sleep. I need to sleep. Okay. Uh, if that ends your turn, I'm gonna mouth it up. Oh, Here maybe, we go. Okay. Maybe my turn can last a little longer. <laughs> Our characters are level five, right? They should be, yes. Yeah. And you're full monk, right? Yeah. You use flurry of bows. You use four attacks. Wait, what? You do? Yeah. You have attack. You have uh, multi attack as your attack action, and if you use flurry of blows, you get two off, two uh, unarmed strikes. So you should have one more quarter staff attack, is what you're saying. Yep. Okay. Just do it. I'll take we'll it. look it up later. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm right. I think Zach knows how to play. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, that was a. Oh. Mm. Okay, that's fine. My, that's all right. Hopefully, that's it's my like one nothing crit fail. That's right. Yeah. Bogmar from behind. Um, no. <laughs> God, I can't. Mouth from behind. Mouth from behind. Uh, oh, uh, you guys are lucky. I forgot the gibbering effect at the beginning of your turns. It'll it'll happen next time. Next round. Delane, I won't enforce it on you either because I didn't do it for the other players. Uh, he's just going to do uh, a bite and blinding spittle. I'm going to blind spittle first. Bogmar, here it comes. Uh, make a DC 13 deck save. Oh, I do get to tax dexterity saving throw. Seventeen is enough, so you are not blinded. Thank uh, you. Now I will do the bite. Uh, he attacked with a eleven. I'm sure that misses you. That misses. All right, moving on to the next mouther. He happens to be right in front of you, doing the exact same thing, starting with the blinding spittle. You got to make another uh, saving throw. I'm getting mouthed back and forth. Oh, God. Forever? That's one buff bunny. Uh, 24 uh, succeeds, no worries. So you're not affected. Here comes the attack from the bite. It's 21. That probably does hit you. Ah. Yeah. All right, here comes the damage. 14, uh, you are... You have to make a DC 10 strength saving throw or be prone. Oh, no. oh, you are prone. So, by the way, if you get killed by that, um, I eat you. You don't get death saves. Okay, well, chill then. <laughs> don't forget we also have inspiration. You do have inspiration. So. You have one. We have un an inspiration <laughs> chat we have one inspiration if you have pine points <laughs> all right anything else from from mouther that way no chris i'm done all right let's move on I, to the last oh. sorry i can't change my hp you can't change it my little... really i thought i changed it but uh here uh how about i can't either but you okay. can do it in the sheet i got it one second I mean, one I second it on I've, I've, I've done that try it now bogmar yes all right cool let me let me re okay i'm gonna do some editing to... and using the selected token all right that should be updated for you i'll get i'll do that if you guys have the same issue when it's your turn and you're trying to do it i'll do it then okay okay uh last i can't, I can't. hi huh can i I actually uncanny dodge that. Uh, the I don't remember the wording of uncanny dodge. I know it's for dexterity saving throws, but it's only for ones that do damage. Uh, no, that's no. you're thinking no, that's of that's with an attack. I can yeah, use my reaction to have the damage. Yes. Oh yeah, do it. So you can take uh, seven. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank All you. All right. Um, this one's gonna definitely attack uh, Thorn. Uh, cool. Spittle first. So dex 13 uh, save. Because of a uh, danger sense, I get advantage on that. Do it. Sounds good to me. Which I need because I have a plus two. All right, you're fine. Here comes the regular bite attack. That's a 21. That's probably going to get you. No, absolutely not. I'll take yes. That's 20 piercing damage. Dexterity, or sorry, DC 10 strength saving throw. If you're raging, I think you have advantage. Mm-hmm. 
you're fine. I mean, you're, you take the 20 damage, but you um, you are not knocked prone. She takes she takes 10. Half damage because of raging. That's right. Uh, all of my mouthers have spit and spent their turns. It is now Delane's turn. After Delane's turn, I am enforcing the gibbering effect. I just forgot to trigger it this turn. Delane is up. Uh, I say shit. Uh... Let's do this. Bless. Second level. Okay. All of us. All right, everybody is hashtag blessed. You should be able to adjust yeah. your hit points now. One day I'm going to remember what bless does. I thought that just gave us a plus four. It D4. doesn't mess with it. D4. It gives you a D4 on a, on the saving throws and, and attack a, rolls. And attack rolls, right. What is, what Did you say you cast at level two? Is that just normal? Level? I am, so I'm... No, it, it's a level one, but at level two, I can pick all four. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, cool. Um, and then I guess I'll... I'm gonna scoot. Uh. No. I'll scoot to right here and try to draw some tension off of Bogmar. Okay. And anything else? Also to help with the, the shit. The sneak attack. Alright, you should be seeing these auras uh, I'm putting up. That's it for me. You guys seeing these auras yeah. I'm putting up? Mm -hmm. I see one aura. I imagine they all have it. Yeah. And as far as I understand it, because all of these auras are overlapping, you'd have to make a save for each one, but you can only be affected by one at a time, like um, in terms of if... Yeah, it doesn't stack. They don't stack, right, exactly. It would just require more saves. All right, so now, now we're at the top of the round, and because of that, we're... In, uh, uh, doing the uh, the gibbering effect there so what that means is thorn you got to make a dc 10 wisdom saving throw you only need to do it once because you're only in one of those venn diagrams <laughs> <coughs> thorns real wise nope not even with the d4 though all right so with that um can't take reactions till the start of its next turn and you roll a d8 to see what you do now I'm sorry, hold on one second. My turn order is in the way of my dice. Oh. Our one is... You do nothing. So your turn is over. Oh. Uh, Bogmar, you are in two of them, so you gotta make two DC 10 wisdom saving throws. Damn! Alright. You can only be affected by it once, so roll a d8. Uh, a one. You do nothing on your turn. Bodhi. Well, it has been a great time adventuring with this group. <laughs> Bodhi, you're only in one. You only have to make one saving throw. You're good. Oh, Continue as per normal. All right, uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, give him a hiya. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to kick him, sir. All right. Uh, first attack. Oh, wait. I, oh, no. Plus wasn't going to help me with that. Never mind. Uh, 11 will hit. 16. Ugh. All right, and we're going to do our second... Regular attack. Second regular attack. Here it comes. 18 hits. Buddy. Five damage. And then we're gonna... We're gonna... Furry time? Furry time. No! <laughs> Let's do it. I've said so many inappropriate Dead. things. We've only been streaming for, what? 40 minutes. Nine uh, hits. Nine well, is its I, armor okay. class. Nine is its I armor guess. class. It's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, true, 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 true. Seven damage. Right. And then our final hit. Yep. Six damage. Got right. it. Boom. It's looking rough. Not buttony, but close. Okay. Anything else? Movement? Um. 
Yeah, I can uh, I get an attack of opportunity? Not if you maintain adjacency. Well, I was trying to get out of the aura. Yeah, then it so would. So I wouldn't then start would. my turn in it. Um, you know what? We're the door we're behind you, by anyway. the way, is closed. Oh, it is. Oh, never mm -hmm. mind. Can't go anywhere then. Uh, yeah, we're here, and that's my turn. All right, mouth time. Uh, the one to the north it attacks with advantage because Bogmar is um, prone. Uh, first, I'm rolling a d6 to see if I recharge. I do. Uh, I'll just attack, though. I'm not going to use... Um... Uh... Oh, wait. Advantage. Ignore that. Roll bad. Roll. 13. No. No? All right. Uh, that's all it does. The next one... Actually, no. It's going to move. The next one uh, will attack also with advantage. Uh, let me check refresh or recharge or whatever it's called. No, it does not. Attacking with bites with advantage. That is going to be a 17. Do me again, yes? Yes, does that hit Let's you? Hit. That does hit. All right, here comes the damage. That's 17 damage. Uh, you cannot take reactions, so you got to take the 17. Yep. You're already prone, so nothing else happens. We move on to the final Mouther. Um, I think because Bodhi's been fucking it up, it's turning its attention towards Bodhi. Hey, you know. Recharge? Yes, no. do have it. Uh, I'm going to start with Spittle. I'm going to spit no. right away. Uh, oh, DC 13 deck save. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. <Fuck> you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to attack uh, normally without advantage with my bites. That's a uh, 21. I think that gets that you. That does hit. Here comes the damage. That's 19 piercing, DC 10 strength save. Christ almighty. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, DC strength save? Yep. No, you are Ridden prone. Fail. Um, and, uh, yeah, do you guys even want with... me to if I use the inspiration? Gotta use it before. Oh, we have to use it before. Okay. Even with a D4 from Bless, though, it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to roll high enough, so you are going to be prone. Nothing else happens, though. I mean, besides the 19 damage. So go ahead and take... Oh, let me adjust your token so you can do that. And you should be able to do that now. Do you have access to your hip? Yeah, you got it. All right, that ends my turn. Delane, it's, up, it's you. You got to make three DC 10 wisdom saving throws. Uh, inspiration from Bearwald. Thank you so much. You guys are at two. Thank you. Wisdom. Uh, bless. Uh, bless. You're good. Second cool. saving throw. You're good. And last one. I'm going to use one of those things. Inspirations? That sounds good to me. Yeah. You're, you're at one. Good thing you did. <laughs> All yeah, right. Yeah, you're yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take good. your turn as normal. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, this is going pretty poorly. I will... Um, Uh, I'm gonna scorching ray, starting with the one down by Thorn and Got it. Bodhi. All right, I'm gonna do that. Does scorching ray go up in damage if I cast it at higher levels? I don't remember if it scales or not. 
on a higher level, I can. I can I get you an extra ray. One additional ray. Yeah, an extra ray. Uh, maybe, maybe not then. Maybe. Um, I'm gonna. Okay. You're not wrong, Bearwald. Bogmar is looking pretty low. He is, but so is Bodhi. Um, I can, I can punch myself. So I, I know you <laughs> can. So. I can. I'm concerned about you getting et. Oh yeah, I can't get eaten. You're yeah. right. That would suck. That'd be a bad okay. way to go. I am going to spend. Uh, help me with uh, with twin spell. If I cast it at third level, I have to spend three. Yes, it costs points. the amount of your level. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna fire off uh, a level three guiding bolt to this one and to this one. Nice. All right. Do you have to make? How does this work with the attack rolls? You have to. You have to roll for each I, attack. I have to right? make it. Yeah, right. I have to make it. All right. It's targeted. So you're twinning scorching ray? Oh no. No, no, no. Guiding bolt. Sorry. I'm twinning guiding bolt. Oh, an eight Ooh. misses, but you have bless. Bless, bless, bless. Let bless, me bless, make sure bless, bless, bless. It's an works attack on roll, attack. but it's it, an attack roll. But does it say it's like an melee? Attack. Target makes an attack roll. Attack roll. Does yep, it say melee? That works. Oh yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, actually, you don't need to. It, you hit yeah, because it has nine. a nine armor class. Cool. So I'm looking cool. at uh, 26, 26 damage. Six damage to to the one by Bodhi. Okay, uh, it dies. Boom, well done. Neat. And then the one next to me. All right, takes the full 26. Well, no, I got to make an attack. Oh, a new attack. I have to tell it to do the whole thing. Fifteen hits for uh, twenty-one damage. Hmm? It takes all of it. It is still alive. Uh, it, the attack rolls against it have advantage, and I will uh, use my bonus action to uh, to use my ten feet of flying movement that does not occur opportunity attacks to fly away from this thing. Nice, nice. Try and get out of this uh, bubble. Um. And I just, uh, I don't know. I hope that my friends can get up. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, nope. That's it for me. Uh, Thorn, one wisdom saving throw. What is the, what is the circle around you again? Is that Bless? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, sorry. D10, uh, eight, D8. Uh, what number we got? A one. Nothing. Oh, that's nothing. All right. It's actually bad. There's some bad ones. So, yeah. Uh, sorry. I know. It sucks it's to lose a turn, but. Two. Two turns. Sucks to lose two turns. Bogmar, you got to make two of those wisdom saving throws. Wisdom saving throw. You're oh, good. That's one. one more. You're Ooh, good. Shit. You're good. Yes. I okay. assume you stand up. I will stand up. All right, that yes. uses 15 feet of movement, but you're back on your feet. Uh, then I am going to take Please a don't. healing potion. Okay. To, uh, what is that? It, it is an action. Uh, I was looking it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 2d4 plus 2, I think. 2d4 plus 2. Okay. So I get... 7 back. Uh, seven back. Better than nothing. Uh, and I think I can bonus action disengage, yes? Yes. Yep. yes. Or would you like to move? Good. <laughs> it's something I You can only move three squares. Only three? Because you use three, th you use 15 feet of movement to get up. Yep. Yeah, um, if you get right in front of Thorn, though. They actually slow you down a bit, but I, I'm going to give you the full three squares. There you go. Cool. That works for me. That's how I'm going. All right. Does that end oh. your turn? 
It sure does. <laughs> All right, Bodie, you are up. You you are prone, but you don't have to make any saving throws. Okay. Um. So. 15, standing up from prone. 15, it's half it's your just, movement. It's just movement, right? Yeah, That's half fine. your movement points. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna scoot up here, and uh, we are going to smack him twice. Let's do it. And it's advantage, right? That's but yep, the first yeah. one is. Okay. Uh, yep, that <laughs> gets him. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, seven damage. Okay. And then Unmas. Oh, that's not supposed to be an advantage, maybe. Yeah, roll it again. Ten. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Ten damage. Ten damage. Him up. Um. And then uh, I'm not going to do for you blow. I am going to use rabbit hop as a bonus action. I can hop 15 feet without um, uh, opportunity without attacks. attack of opportunity. That's yeah. cool. Where are you, where are you gonna hip hopping him to? Right, right back, back where you came from. was. All right, that works. Everybody hide behind the one and a half foot fairy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's mouthing time. Here we go. No. Mighty Mountain? Mighty Mountain. Power Gipper? <laughs> oh, God. They just, let's combine. Okay. Uh, moving up. Attacking Thorn. Uh, Spitting. Oh, Prima Nerda just gave us inspiration. Too. Oh, good. Awesome. Good to Thank see you, you Prima Nerda. You guys are at two. Uh, my uh, dexterity save. Here comes. 15, you're good. Uh, here comes the attack. Uh, nine. That misses. All right. Uh, other Mouther. Uh, first, checking to see if he recharges. Did you roll bless on the attack? Son of a bitch. Oh, no, I, I missed them. I mean, I can bless myself oh, if you like. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. uh, Spitting at Thorn. So, same deck save. Uh, you're a-okay. I'm gonna move into bite, though. I love it and I hate it. <laughs> uh, oh. six! Shit! Oh, no. Not good. All right, my turn is over. Uh, Delane is up. One dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, wisdom? Wisdom. DC 10, I believe. Yes, it is 10. I thought you only had to make it once. Once per aura. No, no, you you don't get you don't get. This is not one that you get like immunity to. Each creature that starts to turn within twenty feet of it. Oh, 20 feet. No, I'm making it ten. It's too much. It's too big. Uh, you're good. Uh, you can continue as normal. Me. Um. See here. I'm just doing this to remember bless. You're blessed too, right, Delane? Like, yeah, you cast on yourself. Yeah, I'm blessed. Everybody's blessed. I'm gonna scoot up here, and I'm going to use shocking grasp. All right. You got him. Five lightning, and he can't make reactions. Correct. So, uh, that worked. Mm -hmm. Come on. Anything else? Nope. Thorns up. Top of the round. Uh, two wisdom saving throws, please. Cool. Don't mind if I use an inspiration for one of them. Do it. Go for it. All right. I'd like to not set out for three rounds in a row. Uh, you're good. You got one more save to make. Blessed AF. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> Some shitty luck. All right. Uh, oh. D8. Yeah. Okay. 
two. Still nothing. All right. Bogmar, two wisdom saving throws. Nineteen hit. Oh, uh, nineteen succeeds. <laughs> You're okay. There we go. All right. Another inspiration from Primanerta that gets you to three or back to two, I should say. Goodness. All right, Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I am stabbing the guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you hit sneak attack. Oh, boy. Yeah, this uh, some of these encounters in this have been rough. Uh, with that, though, you do destroy the mouther. Well done. Yes. And then I'm also going to use my offhand to attack the other guy, and I do not have to move because I have long arms. Long, lanky long arms. Boy. Let's do it. L long boy. And, and I'm either attacking <laughs> above or below Thorn, depending on whether or not she's flying. A I little guess. bit of both, I think. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's my... 23 hits. Attack, yes. I get sneak attack on this one, too, right? Nope, only one. Only once? You can only have sneak attack okay. once a turn, yeah. But you do okay. three damage. I, I, don't, I don't know how to rogue. Uh, and I'm going to... do nothing, because I All can't right. move anywhere. So... so. Thorn, it really sucks to lose that many turns in a row, but I just imagine you flying and bouncing back and forth against the wall like when an NPC in a video game <laughs> glitches oh, out. No. Uh, Bodhi, you are up. Uh, all right. Ooh, no, you don't have to make any saves. You're good. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm outside of the circle. We're going to scoot up here, and we're just gonna we're gonna go for it, man. So two regular attacks. Miss. Ooh, crit fail. Fun. Hits. Okay. Nine damage. All right. Any we're going furry in. business? Oh my! Oh, all the furry business. All right. Cool. So interestingly, that eight because you're blessed. What? Even though it's the nah, it, one, it, one's always a miss. A one. One's always a yeah, miss. Right. Yeah, one's a miss. Oh hell yeah! All right, uh, ten more damage. Got it. Yep. Yeah, that's why in C and C there, Bogmar, I count on those crit fails. Otherwise, I just insta lose. <laughs> yeah. Seven damage. Got it. Yep. And, and okay. Let's see. Uh, is Thor prone? No, no. no. You're okay. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna scoot back. I know I'm gonna get attack of opportunity, but that's All right. fine. I have no more rabbit tops. Yeah, because this was not the one that was shocking grasped. So I do get an off yeah. attack. Here it comes. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a twenty sixteen. Uh. What is my class? Your oh, AC class is 16. 16. Yep. Here comes the yeah. damage. 21. Oh. Oh. It's going to drop. Mighty. Oh, wait. Does that just insta kill? That seems like a shitty way to go. How the fuck does that insta kill me? No, it's Maybe. the... That's mm. if I'm prone and you bite me, right? Like if you swallow? No, but I'm going to say on an op attack, that would be a shitty way to go. I'm going to say you drop, but you manage to hop away before I can absorb you. So you're down, okay. but my bite normally would, would insta-kill you, but because you're moving, I'm going to say you hopped, and yeah, I, that's a shitty way to go. So drop, but don't stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Open up shop. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, and then that is the end of your turn. Anything else? Well, uh, no, can't no. be. All right, um, recharge. Two. Uh, nope. One bite on Thorn. Fourteen. That's my AC. All right, here comes the damage. Twenty-three damage. DC ten save throw. I don't. I feel like my AC is higher. I don't think it counted my shield. 
Okay, I don't know. Um, I can Whatever. look at that for you if you like. Let's see. So your AC should be 10 plus 2 is 12. What armor do you have? She's not wearing armor because she's a barbarian. So 12 is normal, plus 2 for a shield is 14. But you get to add your constitution for a... Uh, um, yeah. Know. Oh, you do? You get to add con as well? Yeah. So your AC should actually be... What's your con? Plus 2? 16. Should be 16. So let That's me, what I thought. All right, so let me get that for you. Um, armor class is... It says 10 plus dex plus con. Allow shields. Oh, I bet. I bet, I bet your shield in... I bet your shield in here is not equipped. Uh, no, it says equipped. Oh, it's under bots. Plus two AC. That should change it. Let's see. Did that do it? No. Maybe I should put a space. Did that do it? No. Uh, let me try it one last way, and then we'll move on. Either way, I missed you. The regular shield. Plop that in here. That did it. That did it. What's the code? A oh, you had to put AC plus two. You had to. I, I wrote it backwards. All right, so let me just get rid of the other shield. And yeah, your AC is sixteen. Good catch. All right, uh, that is it on that end for me. So Delane's up. Delane, you are not in any issues. But. Uh... Odious, so, uh, what I will do is I am going to come up. I'm gonna shock and grasp again. Yeah. Uh, twenty-two does hit for eight lightning. I can't make reactions. Bunny uh, down. And I'm, going, and I'm going to cast uh, at first level uh, healing word. Okay. On Bodhi. Cool. Thank you. You're you get four. Four. Better than being unconscious. <laughs> uh, this is gonna count. Over here would count as in the. Yeah, that would still count. If you can get uh, above over I'll here go, or back where you can back go. To that works. All right. Uh, again, as you move close to the door, it does glow red. Um, so just so you guys know, if I kill you with that bite attack as my action, it will. I am going to eat you. We all cool with that? I mean, it's not great, but that's no. just how it works. Uh, anything else with Delane? Not the button drop buttons. <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> Who said that? That was a, a seven 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 five seven new dead. That was pretty. <laughs> I don't. I don't back. Up. You don't back up. No. Okay. I get. In its gibbering face. Mm -hmm. All right. I uh, forgot about that counter. Yeah, it's such a great one. <laughs> I wish it. I wish it aggregated across all streams, like it was like in the oh hundreds now. Uh, Thorn, you are up one wisdom saving throw. Would you like to use an inspiration? You guys don't mind. Do it. All right. You're good. Fuck me. <laughs> I attack. Are you doing a new rage or no? Oh, I guess I would have to. Yeah. Um, you did hit, so it's up to you now. Would you like to spend the rage or you just want to hit normally? No, I'm not going to. Okay. Nine. Got it. I attack it again. Let's do it. Let's do it. 24 hits. Seven slashing damage to it. I scream at it. It doesn't like it. It screams back. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, uh, Bogmar. <laughs> Sorry. 
Ooh. It's all Mal's it's very all... <laughs> little vocal cord. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I had all the right. most hideous thought. I'll tell you after the fight, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to slice and dice this bitch. Let's do it with your oh, cleaver. That is a... Let me do a wisdom save, right? Oh, yes. Appreciate oh. you. You did it. You're good. Did it. 14 is good. It is. Let me hack this dude. That's the damage. Here's a sneak attack for a total of 14 damage. That is exactly, and viewers at home can see, that is exactly how many hit points it has. Describe how you kill the final um, Gibberling. Uh, I see Thorn finally getting into the action and um, continuing on with her momentum. I uh, swing my arm above her head and just hack at what might be its head. I don't know. <laughs> That's like, fair. Yeah. Oh, so this and like fleshy mass is like in these holes, like just surrounding it. That's so gross. Hate it. Um, yeah, I don't like you guys know Sesame Street, the um, the the little Muppets that go yup, 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 yup. Yeah. <laughs> if you shave it, you get this guy. Oh no, no. no. <laughs> Anyways, no. as I put that horrible image in your in your guy's mind, at this the final gibberling falls dead. Uh, I need one person to roll a d6. Who would like to do it? Don't roll it. Just who would like to do it? I will. All right, Thorn. Let's see a D six. I don't know. Do you guys want me to roll? Do <laughs> it. Yes. 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 Sorry, Zeke you just do. knocked the mouse out of my hand. A three. All right, sounds good. First so, as the heroes um, sort of recover from that ordeal. Uh, you don't get a rest, of course, but you have healing magic. I'll allow you to apply that as you like. We're going to take a quick little five-minute bathroom break, and then we'll jump right back into it. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. Did you roll?
Welcome back, everybody, as we are delving deep into the Betrayer's Rise, where our heroes have just been mouthed. Uh, and at this point, they're looking to explore further into the recesses of the dungeon. Um, so, <laughs> what would you guys like to do? Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Had enough? Yeah. Um... Well, I don't think there's much else to do but go forward, right? Unless we actually want to leave and try again. Uh, I mean, no idea. what's to say that we don't get mouthed again? Yeah, I don't know if we're going to survive another uh, another round of mouthing. Uh <laughs> I can do my That's best. That's still to... pretty raw from the last round, you know. <laughs> a little over sensitive. Like I don't really know if I can take take it again. <laughs> what happened to you all? We were in this chamber full of holes and mouths. It was horrifying. <laughs> oh no! Someone nope. just walked in. <laughs> just joined the, the stream. What a time to walk in! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. It's as good as time as any. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> We're only okay, allowed to do so much mouthing on Twitch because of terms of terms service. Terms of service, yeah. Oh, terms of service. Three auras is the max. Yeah. <laughs> don't report us, guys. <laughs> Please don't. Please Roll don't. mouthing. Roll mouthing. All right, as you move oh. forward, you see, uh, as I assume you are moving forward, you see another larger chamber. Yeah. We cool? All is that right. what we decided on? Is that what we're going to do? Here's I don't... The th I'm also concerned about, you know, the five people we just uh, lost. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. We're we are on kind of on a time crunch. <laughs> so forward or back? On what? Want to do try forward try one now. more? Let's give it a little bit more. Okay. I've got enough to keep us to keep y'all standing. Maybe there is a healing saving point up in here. Oh boy, there's a skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can check the file. Maybe not. <laughs> that was the can best reaction. Here, I'll bring it up to the uh, to the group so you guys can. Oh no! See this? Uh, okay. What Bogmar has seen? All right. Oh wait, no, no. Come on, map. This map's real big. All right. So that's what they see. Let me describe the room to you and tell you what's happening. This chamber is empty except for a skull-shaped vase on a small semicircular table resting against the back wall of an alcove in the north wall. Six narrow alcove, uh, alcoves lie uh, on the east and west walls. The northeast alcove seems to have once led to a hallway but has since been caved in. Uh, there is a large unconscious figure on the ground located right over here. It says it's Maggie. <laughs> oh, you can see it? Oh, you're can watching I, it. Can I can't make a we see the health bar and Maggie. You do? I don't, I don't yeah. see anything. What are you talking about? Oh, are you looking at the Twitch stream? It's, on the, it's, on, it's probably on the Twitch stream. Uh, oh, no. It must be because I have control of her. Everyone should have control of her. It don't matter. Or I have her, I have her character sheet up because uh, I was uh, just preparing to play her. Well... There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a health bar in the name Maggie. And I was like, <laughs> okay, well, that's not hiding it, but all right. Roll 20. I'll rush over there and make sure she's okay. Uh, as soon as you uh, move towards her, she sort of stirs, uh, uninjured, but disoriented, and says, what just, what just happened? Wh where is everyone? That's what I'm trying to find. Oh. If the others are in danger, we must investigate. She instantly stands up, and uh, you see a little air quotes. Maggie has joined the party. Da, da, da. Yay. Uh, so, fun fact, I have these eyes of the eagle, which I forgot about earlier. Okay. But I have advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. Good to know. All right, cool. I'll remember that. Basically, the things in this room of interest are the the vase, the the skull vase, the collapsed yeah. chamber, and the other alcoves. So I just kind of want to, um, uh, 
I would like to approach the base, but also using caution. Okay. Make sure I don't trigger anything, but I would like to go over there and, and take a look at that closer. All right. <laughs> Roll your perception check with advantage. Hey. All right, hey. there is an inscription written along the base of the vase, <laughs> uh, but it's an abyssal. I Does anyone here do. speak that? I don't think so. No. no. Does Maggie? I don't think so either. Let me double check. No, she doesn't. Does not, all right. She speaks common and ogre, I think. All right. Yeah, common and giant. Uh, you notice that in the vase, um, even though you can't make out what the words say, uh, there is a, um, where is it here? A wilted, um, sorry, one second. Why is this written like this? Vase contains the withered remains of a bouquet of lilies. Without being able to read the inscription, that's all you can glean from this at this point. Um, Shame these flowers are dead. When you say that, I uh, make them bloom. As soon as you make them bloom, uh, you watch as they instantly shrivel up again. I get really sad. Roll for sadness. <laughs> That's just my everyday life. Can I? <laughs> I'm here to play a game, Chris. <laughs> uh, um, I checked this alcove behind Maggie. All right. Um, so as you're looking through the alcoves, all of them seem empty except for two. The one over here looks like uh, it led to a hallway, but has since collapsed. It's possible you could dig your way through it, but it would take a while. Probably f half an hour, 45 minutes. With all of you doing it. But on the other side of it, there is an inscription. What's it it is also in Abyssal. Damn. In the rubble, you find a scroll of how to read Abyssal for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> reading it <laughs> you now have the ability to decipher both because otherwise it's a dead end like i don't understand so no you can read these inscriptions now oh, okay actually maggie's like oh, this looks familiar to me i've been practicing this on duolingo abyssal edition uh the what is the duolingo owl in D? &D? it has to be a boss fight right <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're totally right <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you beat it you can now speak all languages <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. amazing. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, sorry if I missed it. Did we figure out what the skull was? Yeah, um, so basically there's a bunch of abyssal written carvings here, and I'm just going to say you can read it now, because I'll just say it was in common or something, because otherwise this is a there's nothing you can do. So, uh, on the uh, table where the vase is, it reads, cast that which you value into oblivion. Everyone except for Thorn and Bodhi, so Bogmar and Delane, can roll religion checks, or one of you two can roll advantage religion. Delane, I, I will help you. Sure, I'll roll advantage wisdom, or uh, advantage religion. Plus also, you know, guided. Okay, 13. Um, guided for 15 total. Oh, okay, that, all right. So all of you recognize uh, obliv the word oblivion, um, but you, uh, Delane and Bogmar, uh, know it more as the chained oblivion, a betrayer god of emptiness, also known as Thaur's Dune, which some of you may know from Ghost of Saltmarsh. You remember back then? It was the buttholes. I definitely remember Thaur's Dune. Oh, yeah. 
the purple pulsing butthole. Mm -hmm. yep. High yeah. fantasy. Water butthole. Undulating. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, Sorry. nope, nope, nope. Okay, um, that's what that one says. The one next to where Thorn is reads as follows. To me, touch your hand. To me, relinquish hope. To you, accept death. To you, invite hollowness. Hollowness, Holland? not Hollandaise. Hollowness. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I didn't touch it. <laughs> Delightful sauce made of yolk what? butter. I'll put that in the Roll20 chat. Um, this is what is... It's, yeah, ho thank you there, Beryl. Hollowness. This is what is written on the alcove where Thorn is. And then this is what is written... To, uh, on the skull. There is no other way out of this room except for the way you came. And the friggin' tunnel of dilapidation over there. Uh, if anyone needs a hint, you can roll an insight check. But just tell me what you're insighting, either the alcove or the skull. Uh, the alcove's the one with the... Wait, is the alcove or the skull the one with the riddle on it? So alcove. the alcove has okay. the riddle. The skull says, cast what you value into oblivion. Um... Oh, my inside's decent. Um, I'll try it inside on the cove. Okay. Cove. Alcove. Alcove. Twenty-one. Uh, as you don't touch the the alcove, but you move your paw around it, and you notice that it almost looks like it's writhing, or like it wants you to touch it. Like you see the wall moving. It is also undulating. It is also undulating. And then you see this and big puckering. Be... Moving on. So um, <laughs> you understand that the wall seems to want you to, wants to devour you, but will only do so if you, if someone who's accepted their fate. That's what the riddle means. Like someone who won't struggle against it. Okay. Um, can I use magic awareness? What is that? Um, I think it's kind of like detect magic. Uh, till the end of your next turn, you know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you. Um, when you sense a spell, you learn what school of magic it belongs to. All right. Um, let's see here. I think, yeah, okay, obviously the two things you're looking at are magic, but the school it would radiate would probably be, uh, evocation magic. Anything else in the room look magical? Nope. Just those two areas. So you have three basic, uh, basic, three basic <laughs> places to go from here. If you go to the west, you have the, the wall that wants to eat you. If you go to the north, you have the skull. If you go to the east, you have the torn down, um, the, the, the collapsed chamber. And if you go to the south, you just hike on out of there. It's up to you. And the other alcoves don't have anything? They do not. Okay. Could I cast some light from my jewel? Okay. I'm gonna walk towards the wall of riddles. Uh, the does wall does change? not react to your jewel. The only thing that has reacted to you moving towards it or away from it has been the doors. The not the Jim Morrison ones, the um... And the skull stays the same too? Skull does not change. 
The skull seems you to want to put something of value into oblivion, which would probably indicate the vase itself. Or... Um... Maggie begins to slowly move a couple rocks out of the way. She says, I'll probably be able to clear it, but hopefully this wasn't trying to keep something in. It'll take me a while. One Does it rock, have anything of value I can rock. put in there? Mm. <laughs> I've got the... So, so I've got just the, the, the fact that it says something that you value, not of value. It like says something you value. Things of value. Thorn puts in a day's worth of rations. All right. Nothing happens. She values food more than anything else. <laughs> Nothing changes. That's all she does is even shit. Thorn, get in. <laughs> uh, Just kidding. I've got this charm of heroism. Still. Would you like to put that in the base? Yeah. All right. Uh, as soon as you place the charm inside, you see it instantly begin to decay, crack, and break in the vase, uh, and something changes. show you what happens the wall behind it slides away and you see another serpentine corridor to the north uh, that did something well all right maggie puts okay. the rock down <laughs> do we want to keep moving forward then Maggie says there may be mo the rest of, of them may be ahead. Yeah. Watch out for that S on the floor. It looks secretive. I'm trying to just make a secret door really quick so I remember I revealed it to you. Where the hell am I? Oh. You're at home, right? <laughs> I went home, yeah. Where the hell am I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bogmar, I'm scoot you up there. Yeah, uh, Bless is probably oh, off now, right? Yeah, it is. It's one minute for some reason. Well, that makes sense. Let me bring up this area. Uh. There is nothing in the hallway, but you do see it emerges where Thorn is into a very large, um, very large chamber, which I will reveal to you now. Are there holes in this hallway? There are no holes in the hallway. <laughs> Two rows of black stone pillars marbled with white veins support the vaulted ceiling which is 50 feet high of this hall the floor of which is polished to a mirror like sheen ornate brass braziers rest at the feet of four of the pillars and they instantly ignite you should be able to see little flames on your on your map i do you hear faint music that fills the halls uh, the flames coalesce and move and dance until they appear to be in sort of a humanoid-like form. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, they seem to be like... Damn, what's up, bro? What's she doing? The glow from the flames glints off the north wall where a towering mosaic of stained glass depicts a maelstrom of colors. Within each are nine symbols. The image shifts even as you stare at it. This is the stained glass at the end of the corridor. Yo. Oh, no. Sorry. Huh. That's great. Mm -hmm. Zach knows it's great. Does <laughs> Delane? <laughs> yeah, right. What are yeah. those? Yeah. Oh, what, what are those? 
Uh, Crazy. What here, just so you can study it on your own. I'm gonna put a uh, stained glass here. Now you can. Uh, it's in your journal. You should be able to see it as a separate handout now. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Uh, dude, boy. There is a door locate. Uh, so you can see where the stained glass is reflecting off the floor over to the north. And then there is a door over to the east. Mm. What would you like to do? Sure. What's a bad feeling about this? Um, the building's called the be Betrayer's Condos of <laughs> Doom or whatever. Betrayer's Timeshare? <laughs> Betrayer's high rise. Hi oh, mm. oh, that's good. But again, um, this music is sort of uh, faintly pulsing through the room. Even undulating music? Undulating, uh, puckering, all this is happening. Uh, is, is there anything on the ceiling? No, it is a they vaulted ceiling, so it does come to a... Ceiling, right? Yes, correct. All right. Uh, do the pillars have anything on them? No, the only ones... Uh, they're, they're all this identical black marble with the white veins through it. The only ones that are different are the ones with the um, flaming braziers with the dancing ladies. Hey, what's up, oh, girl? the flames are the dancing ladies. Correct. I see. Uh, Delane, and... insight check. Oh. And how close are you getting? I just need to know. I don't. I'm. That shouldn't. I mean, do you? They're. They're one off. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't have to reroll that. That's fine. Okay. Um. Okay. Take cool. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay. I don't know. I don't really have much of an option. I'm either right next to that. No, that's or fine. Right You're cool. I, I, yeah. I just wanted to know: Are you like rushing up to this thing? As I was trying to just determine. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm a little intrigued by the fire by the fire gals. Yeah. So as you watch uh, the sort of uh, female-like figure in the flames dance, uh, she does appear to be moving in time with the music. And you have the feeling that she's looking for a dance partner. How big are the figures? Medium sized. Humanoid figures. Uh, there are four ladies and four of us. Guess I could Maybe dance we a little dance? bit. I'll dance with a lady. <laughs> All right. Everybody choose a Wait. partner round and round. <laughs> we'll All see right. how this goes. And Chris, yep. Thorn is usually always flying somewhere around five and six feet up. That works for me. All right. So in order to dance, you need to make a choice of a check. And I'm going to go from top to bottom, starting with Bogmar and moving my way down. Uh, Bogmar, you can choose when you do your dance to either use acrobatics or performance. One or the other. Ah. Okay. And if you have any charms acrobatics. or medals that you won that affect dexterity or charisma, oh. then you can use those. Acrobatics. Uh, do I we have... can give another inspiration. We got another I... inspiration. Good call. Just let me know if you need to use it before... That happens. Please. Oh, I'd have to look those up. I don't remember. Oh, thank you and good night, Bearwald. <laughs> Horizon. Two in the morning in his time zone. Yikes. Good lord. I'm struggling here. Uh, nope. None of my medals will help me. Okay. So I think. We are at um, just using inspiration if we think we need that. Would you like to use it? Uh, 
it seems like if we do not dance with these ladies very well, we might get burned. <laughs> so, I say, honestly, I mean, if you, like, go for it. That's, for some reason, that really tickled me. Yeah, you're Bogmar exactly every time at the club. If we don't dance with these ladies quickly, we'll get burned. Yes, no, I, I understand how to dance with ladies. Uh, <laughs> it's just scarier that she's on fire. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so does that mean go for it, like... Yola, use the inspiration. Oh, or go for it. Prima Nerd okay, is saying right, use right. use I the inspiration. Will, yeah. I, right. will, I will Using use the one. inspiration. All right, let's see how you do. All right, acrobatics. Here I go. Hot dog. Oh, I am very glad you That's did that. Spread. All right, so Oof. you you do your best to uh, match. Uh, oh, and you got, you got it immediately back. Uh, you do your best to match uh, the flaming figure in front of you. And after a, a small uh, back and forth of a few bars, uh, the flaming person seems to be uh, intrigued by your movements and immediately flies towards the um, uh, stained glass window and absorbs into the spider um, image, which begins to glow. Neat. <laughs> Bodhi! Bodhi, it's your turn. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we're gonna dance. We're gonna do a little Feywild two-step with well, this elemental. Um, we're gonna do acrobatics. And hope it goes well. 19? Alright. All righty. So. So you do this little, like, um, two-step, and the, the the dancing flame seems, again, intrigued uh, by what you're doing. Uh, and as the, the music continues to pulse, uh, you uh, see it immediately fly towards... The stained uh, glass window. Where the hell? Here we go. And you see it fly into uh, the bleeding eye image above the um, spider. All right. All right. Thorn. Um, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to use an inspiration because my acrobatics and my performance. Do it to it. All right. You got advantage. Cool, glad I did that. All right, unfortunately, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's go ahead and go to, um, actually, let me let me read it very carefully before I continue. Ah. Yes, all right, it happens immediately. So, the uh, flaming figure immediately looks angered at your attempt to dance and attacks you with its claws. No. Eleven probably misses you. Mm-hmm. All right. So, before we move on, Delane, you have an option. You can either continue your dance or seeing that Thorn was attacked, you can do something. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay the course. Okay. I'll dance, but I'm gonna guide myself. All right. Fifteen total. Mm-hmm. All right. Again, your uh, dancing seems to please the flaming mistress as she flies towards uh, the trio of arms. Uh, this one is a little hard to see. It's in the bottom left corner of the stained glass window and begins to 
the flame is absorbed into there. And at this point, guys, not bad, but we got to roll initiative with the one remaining dancing flame. Here we go. Oh, and Maggie, yeah, Maggie can, I'll, I'll add Maggie. You can keep dancing if you want, but the, but the flames that were in your braziers are gone. They're in the window now. Right. But if I approach this other fire lady, no, I once they're triggered, it's fighting time. Sorry. Oh, okay. So please, please go back to your brazier. Oh, sorry. Oh, initiative. That's what I was One, doing. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, whoever wants to control Maggie when I get to their turn, we'll get able to do it. All right, cool. Got it. Going in descending order. Bodhi, you're first. Oh, sweet. All right. Um, it's the one in front of Thorn. Okay, yeah, she's... Yeah, we're just going to move up and we're going to start smacking. We're just going to smack once. 25 hits. All right. For a 10. And we're going to smack again. All right. This is a non-magical attack, correct? Uh, yes. All right. Again, it... You're hitting a fire with a wooden stick. It's doing something, but not as much as you'd hope. Okay. Uh, that misses. Okay. Um. All right, we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do. Okay. Uh, actually, that's uh, that's gonna be the end of my turn. All right, moving on to Thorn. Thorn, you're next. I hit it. All right. Well, I have you attempt to. Uh, that'll miss. Do you have Do you have another one? Yeah, here it comes. That will also miss. Anything else? Nope. All right, moving on to the flame. Um. Uh, I'm gonna try and charm you there, uh, Thorn. As it continues to dance in front of you, you need to make a wisdom, a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Boy. Great. I've been so good at those today. You have an inspiration before you do it. Big brain barbarian. Up to you. It's one. You have one left. Sure. All right. That unfortunately is not enough. At this point, you are charmed for a day. Proven already gave you the inspiration back. Uh, but you can I have you have to the charm target obeys the flames verbal or telepathic commands if the target suffers any harm or receives suicidal command it can repeat the saving throw ending the effect on a success if the target successfully saves against the effect or if the target blah 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 blah, blah, blah uh, if the target successfully okay yeah it can repeat the saving throw if you receive damage or I tell you to do something harmful to yourself that works um, I'll tell you to Attack Bodhi. So on your turn, you will attack Bodhi. Oh, shit, dude. What the fuck? Delane! Does this be when I start, like, rolling one? Uh, I'm gonna run up and shocking grass. Aight. Uh, 14 oh. misses. We should run, guys. <laughs> Might need to. Anything else from delay? Oh, we all should have had advantage on our initiative rolls because of Maggie. Oh. Forgot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Uh, that'll be it. All right. Bogmar, you're up. Okay, I am going to move here. Okay. And then I'll try to... Tell me which one, if you're attacking with a magical weapon or not, because I know you have one magical weapon. Uh, the offhand is the magic one. Okay. Uh... All right. Here I go. That'll hit. Uh, two pier or six piercing plus thirteen sneak. Yeah. I take thirteen sneak, and then I take half of the other one. 
So that is going to be... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, uh, 16. Got it. And this is this is the magic. This is the magic one. 27. That'll hit, and I'll take the full amount of this one, which is two! Big two. And anything else? And, um, I suppose... That's my full movement. Action, bonus action. Ryan, you're going to run Maggie after Bogmar's done. Okay. Anything yeah, else? Done. You're done? All right, Maggie's up. All right, she's going to throw her hammer. At the dancing flame? Mm -hmm. That's nat 20. Nice. Dang. Click on the word attack okay. in the chat. That's going to be 13 damage. And she gets a second attack. Yep. Ooh, that's a miss. Oh, no. God. Anything else, Maggie? Movement? Anything? Ryan, highs and lows today. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, a twenty and a one. Yeah. I'm done with today. All right, gonna go on to Bodhi. Bodhi, you're up. You um, notice that Thorn has a murderous look in her eyes. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, um. Okay, so I'm going to. I'm just gonna punch. The, uh, uh, oh, my mind just went blank. There we go. Unarmed strike. Okay. Number one. That is going to be a 23 to hit. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to spend a key point, uh, to, um, uh, uh time out, time start. out. Sorry. Uh, at this level, are your monk strikes magical? I don't. There's a point I when they become know. magical. I think it's at level six. Okay. Yeah. So no. So, Got no. it. All right. But what I'm going to do is spend a key point to um, hand of harm her with that uh, with that own arm strike. Okay. What is that? I have a save to make. Uh, no, no, it just does damage. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming this is probably magical. Yes, it All is right. necrotic. Sweet. Uh, yeah, it's just, it deals an extra Two more six. inspirations from the chat. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you. You guys are at three. Be sure to use them. Uh, that is an extra six damage of which it takes all of it. Yeah. Well done. Anything else from Bodhi? Like maybe some movement? Uh, yeah, well, I, I still have an attack left. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. Yeah. Was the, could I tell, was the, was the attack doing any damage like the regular ones? The regular attack does do damage, but it's not as much as you Just, expect. Okay. Mechanically, it's resistant. Okay, I will do it. Hound House of Sadness. <laughs> oh. Ten misses. Okay, uh, we are going to rabbit hop. That means no opportunity attack. No opportunity attack. Fifteen feet? Uh, yeah, fifteen feet. And... We're going to go, so 5, 10, 15, and then I'm going to use my, f I still have all of my movement. Um, Just so you know, I did mention, Thorn has a murderous look in her eyes. Oh. Yeah, I, I still have my movement, right? Yeah, you haven't moved yet. Yeah, so I'm going to move all 40 feet <laughs> away. Okay, sorry, it just looked, from my perspective, it looked like at first you were just moving closer to Thorn. I'm like, uh-oh. 30, no. I thought that was because 40. Ryan also has a murder. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, with that, Thorn, it is your turn. You have to do what I told you to do uh, until something harms you. Uh, so your job is to attack Bodhi. So you're going to have to use all the movement you can to get over there. I can get up on them, Bodhi. All right. There you go. What's your movement? It's 40. Okay. Maggie is rough terrain, even flying, because she's so big. Okay. But you still have enough? Would Maggie get an opportunity attack? That's up to Maggie, which is also up to Ryan. Would you like to attack one character with another character? Can she grab her? Uh, I don't know if you can grapple as a bonus action, but I think you can attack non, um, like, non, uh, not to kill. Like, you can attack, and it would still do damage, but you wouldn't be. That's up to you. I'm going to say it has to be an attack. If you'd like to make it an unarmed strike, you can do that. Yeah, sure. You'd like to do that? 
There's a chance that it'll knock some sense into her, right? Yeah, so what it does is Ma Maggie will attack op op opportunity. At the end of your turn, you get yeah. to remake the saving throw. Okay. All right, so basically stop next to Maggie for a second. Maggie will punch. So to do that, um, basically roll a d20, add... Here, I'll just, I'll just do it for you really quick because it's not programmed in. I think your proficiency bonus is three. So yeah, three plus four is seven. So d20, roll, roll a d20 plus seven, please. This is to attack Thorn. Sorry, my turnover keeps popping up on my dice. 17, that hits. All right, so now Thorn takes one plus Maggie's strength modifier, which is four, so that's five points of damage. Okay. And then you continue to move, so now you're adjacent to Bodhi. Um, you still have to attack this turn, but at the end, because you haven't done an action yet, but at the end of your turn, you get to remake that saving throw. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Sorry, bud. So she could she could still get through with the. Uh, uh, where I mean I didn't count the movement. No. You can't. It would have put me. There. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a range attack you could use? Yes. Then you'll have to use that. Uh, oh, not not an advantage. Yeah. No, do that again. Fourteen. That does not That's hit not you, because we adjusted the armor class. All right, cool. Do you have two attacks with those javelins? I believe you yes. do. Yep, here comes the second one. 17 does hit. That's hit. All right, yep. click on the javelin to do the damage. Oh, man, if only there was something Eight. my monk could do. Oh, like yep. catch missiles? Yep. I can! <laughs> and I keep some reaction! Nice. <laughs> Okay, yeah. All right, so you got um, eight damage coming your way. It's a D10 plus your monk level? Yeah, deflect. Yeah, so it's D10. No, it's a D10 plus seven. Or one D10 plus seven. What? Where did the seven come from? I don't know. Okay. It's Oh, it's your dex plus your class level. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um... Yeah, so go ahead and roll the damage, and then I reduce it by one. It, it's eight, eight damage coming your way. Okay, cool. So I, I shouldn't have to take any of it then if I... Yeah, no. If yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're going to roll at least a one. So, yeah, but I think if you roll a certain amount over, you get to, like, do something to it. If you reduce it to zero exactly, you could spend a key point and throw it back. And throw it at me. No, I'm not going to throw it at her. But that would be I funny, wouldn't catch it? it. <gasps> no. Wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, oh I, right I want to do this. I want to do this. Oh, you can you can throw it at the fire person. <laughs> Let's just say that. That okay, sounds really okay. fucking cool. <laughs> All right, cool. So you reduce right. it to zero because you're you're going to do that anyway because that's you're automatically going to make yeah. it. Uh, and then what? Does it just automatically hit the person, or is there is this a new attack? Uh, it's it's a you throw it with you, a, you spend a, a key attack. point to make a ranged attack. Would you like to do that? Uh, yeah, we can do that. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, you are proficient in it for this attack. Right. Yeah, so, as with a monk weapon. Yep. So d20 plus proficiency plus dex. Okay. Armor class is 15. How sweet would that be? Would you like to use an advantage? Dex plus four. Um, wait, what? Do you want to use one of the inspirations? Inspiration. Uh, sure. Well. Yeah. All right, so you're at two. What's my proficiency? Uh, At this level, three. three. Okay, so, alright, so it's gonna be plus seven. Right? What's your dexterity? Four? Plus four? Yeah. Uh, so, that, that, it does hit. Alright. Uh, because you'll, your high one's a 12, plus, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, awesome. Now you do the damage. A, which is for a javelin? Uh, javelin is... Uh, I'm not sure. D6? D6 plus strength. My strength is very good. My strength. It's just a one. So I'm taking one D6 plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yep. Oh, nice. All right. Seven damage. Nice. <laughs> All right. 
So uh, javelin comes at you. You bicycle kick it back over Thorn's head into the firing. <laughs> That's pretty fucking awesome. Um, uh, Thorn, you've done everything you can. Now you need to make a wisdom saving throw again. Uh, and the DC is still 15. I'm going to use an inspiration. All right, you guys have one inspiration remaining. Oh, boy. Me. All right, unfortunately, you're still under its thrall, but that ends your turn, I believe. I think you've done everything you can. We move on to the Dancing Flame. Uh, attacking Delane. Twenty-three. That'll get you. Nine fire damage. Cool. I am going to. Uh... Thunder rebuke. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I have. Six. Oh, sorry. It's wrath of the storm. Uh, at when a creature that hits me, uh, it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. I like that idea, Prima Nerda. So I have to make a dexterity saving throw, you said? Yes. 21. All right, you take half of 2d8 lightning. Okay. Uh, resistant to lightning. So then you take half of half of light. Okay, got it. So yeah. you take one lightning. Did it? Anything else? From no, that was your reaction. I'm gonna move like this. Here, actually. Delane, you're up. Uh. Ooh, point of order. I technically moved out of Bogmar's reach. I just realized that. I think they can do an opportunity attack, because I forgot yet to reach. Ballsack. Go ahead. Which one would you like to attack with? I would recommend your your magic one. The magic one? Yeah. If that's possible. Uh, yep, 15? 15 hits. That's its armor class. And then you do that. Four plus Four. one. What's your um, dex modifier? Because you'd still add that because this is not offhand, technically. Oh, uh, my dex modifier is a four. All right, so it's eight damage. Boom. Uh, Delane's actual turn. Shocking grasp again. Cool. Uh, 20 hey, oh. oh, fuck. That is... Guys, I can't make this shit up. Like, if you're watching at home right now, you can see this fucker has exactly 11 hit points left. Nice. Awesome. So as you, you grasp it, uh, shooting electricity through the entire flaming uh, individual, and it just whiffs off. Thorn, you are instantly dropped uh, out of the um, control of this creature. Okay. Boom. Yeesh. That would have been a lot rougher if you had to fight all four of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm glad Bogmar knows how to charm the ladies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so just a quick little recap uh, of what's going on right now, looking at this uh, stained glass. The first um, dancing queen uh, that was on the pillar closest to it uh, turn, uh, made the spider light up. It flew into the spider. The second one um, flew into the uh, bloody eye. The third one was angered, and then the final fourth one went to where the uh, three arms are in the bottom left corner. So apparently, in this sequence, you do not know what the third one is. I see. Uh, hey, Chris. Yep. I need to take, like, a two-minute break to let Zeke out. Oh, yeah, no worries. Let's take a quick little, like, let's take a quick little five-minute break and then jump right back into it, and we'll see you guys in just a bit.
And we're back. Our characters have just danced with um, f fire elementals, uh, trying to solve this strange um, uh, puzzle involving a stained glass image. Uh, can I get someone besides Thorn to roll a d6, please? I'll do. Uh, roll again, please. No, that was it. Whatever happens, happens. Fuck it. Roll a d4, <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm gonna blast so hard if it's three. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we are staying with it now. Chris, the face has spoken. They have they spoken. They have spoken. I don't know what more you want. Three. God damn it. Three. Okay, cool. No, that'll work. That'll work. I can't believe it. Roll a d100. Three. <laughs> All right. Man. Um... So, what's going through your characters' minds at this point regarding this uh, stained glass? Uh, what what are you thinking you'd like to do? There's also the door on the east side. I'm going to say during this time as you've sort of recuperated, Maggie has placed her ear to the door and she says, I hear movement from the other side. It may not be safe. I just kind of side-eye Thorn and I'm like, you good, bud? We're good? Can I... <laughs> Can I religion check the... Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can both uh, religion check, or someone can do it with advantage. All right, uh, I'm gonna go. Please. Alright, I'll do it at advantage. And I'm gonna guide. Well. 18 total. Okay. So these are the symbols of evil gods. Um, of, mm -hmm. uh, you. Um, uh, I can tell you what two of them are. So if you choose two of them, I'll tell you what they represent. Okay. Uh, the Naruto sun. Uh, the the spiky black, like the one with the spiky black on the outside of it, the spiral. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, the jagged spiral is Thara's Dune. It is? It is. It, actually, the chains up there are not the chain to oblivion? They're not. I know. That makes very little sense. That's actually a flail. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, the funny thing is the, that exact same symbol did appear in Salt Marsh, too. Oh, it did. Yeah. Uh, and then... Um, I, I guess I'd like to know the Goatsy. <laughs> 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 the severed hand and eye in the palm is Vecna. No, 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 no. I know what that one is. I want to know what What's the goat see underneath it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go Goatsy was like, for to me, pull. Anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see where okay, my description That's what that is. It's three Goatsy. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, the triple Goatsy is Torog. You could look it up online, but I don't recommend it, Robbie. <laughs> don't, don't do uh, it. I have to. How do you don't do it, it, Robbie. Don't do it. There are worse it's things. Yo, search yo, on. Hey, hey, how do you? How do you? Wait, how I think do you it's it? goat S E, like all, it's all one word. If I'm not mistaken. Use a privacy tab. Go S E. I can't do this on stream. Terms of service. Go, G O S E. Goat like ba. Goat C. E. C with your eyes or S E. You're gonna regret it so hard. Oh no! <laughs> you saw it here. Yikes. So back to this. Torog is the crawling king, an evil god of torturers, slavers, and jailers. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I think that, and that's glowing. It is. Okay, so Goatsy's glowing, Spider's glowing, Bloody Eye is glowing. My my assumption is if we're looking at... Uh... So these were touched in sequence. So you're missing the third part of the sequence. Oh, a 757 Nerdette, don't, don't, don't follow our yeah, don't <laughs> advice of things don't to search it. on Google. Nope. Do not. <laughs> Although I'm looking up Torog, the the jail, the crawling king, and the pictures I'm seeing are not much better. So there's a lot of weirdness there oh, too. Yeah. Not not as weird. 
but but still pretty Bro, dark. We we grew up on the internet. Like I've seen much worse shit. So oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, space dicks. Moving on. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I, I don't All want right. to talk about that. No, I had a bad my, experience. My assumption is the eyeball. If the top two on the right are glowing and the bottom left is glowing, then maybe the one directly above it. Are you talking about the Vecna one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I need uh, is the order your group is touching the symbols and which symbols. Oh, we're touching the symbols? Yes. So as you move towards it, it's kind of like a Simon game. As you touch it, they like bing, bing. You got to touch them in the correct order. The flaming uh, spirits, and again, I'm just sort of telling you this for time. Um, the flaming spirits give you gave you indicators of the first, second, and fourth items in the sequence. Does that make sense to everybody? Cool. Okay, I see. Uh, Maggie uh, says to you, what makes you think it is that symbol? Well, um, said it's the top two right ones and then the, the bottom most left. The, if it was zigzag pattern. So you're looking for symmetry. Mm -hmm. well, these gods are known to be quite chaotic in alignment, so it may not be related to that. Well, all right, Maggie, do you have an idea? That was my NPC hint for this scenario. I may have more later. Maggie, tell me. Tell me what you think. Um, the, the previous chamber referenced the chained oblivion. It did? <laughs> it did. So, which, which ones did it light up again? In, in order. Oh, yeah, go ahead. So, spider, bleeding eyeball, all the arms. Triple goat seat. Right. Um, so, it goes spider, eyeball, blank, triple goat seat. You're right. Um. And then, Bogmar, you were at the northernmost flame, right? Yeah. I was... That is correct. Yes. No, I don't see any bleeding fire. Mm. Let's see. Is that this the... Doesn't line up. There's nothing written on any of the walls? There is not. Or the pillars? There's nothing written on the pillars. Uh, I got nothing, guys. That my my only guess is Vecnand. Uh, the only guess that I would have is the snake. You know, it goes from a creature to a body part, maybe then to another creature, and then more body parts. That's the best I've got. Colors don't seem to make sense. This is not symmetrical, so. Uh. There doesn't seem to be any correlation. Uh, can't tell. Insight check. E any one person who would like to roll for it. I mean, they're kind of on colors, but like some of them are predominantly red or predominantly green. Right. Well, spider is three colors. Eyeball is one color. The center of the spider is green. So all of the greens have been on the. Um, I'll do an insight check. I got a. Do we mind I, if I use? I got Delane's oh, twenty-two already. already yeah. Oh well, yeah. never mind. Um, Delane, uh, 
thinking back to what and 24 uh thinking back to what maggie said you the way the the betrayer gods are very vain very chaotic so you doubt this is a puzzle involving symmetry or images so much as references and oblivion okay That would be my answer. So if you are ready, I just need to know who's touching what, or if one person's touching them all in sequence, and what that sequence is. Porn uh, learned her lesson on poking things today. I'll give yes, it I, can, I can do this. Oh, I I'll will do it. Delane or Bogmar, well, or you can take turns. You can alternate. Oh. Sure. Bogmar, I'll stand you up, Kate. All right. I love how you both I... move towards it and then slowly back up. Hey, have fun, 757 earned at Have fun hosting your own adventure. Thank you for dropping by again. Thank you. Two points, or two, uh, two inspiration. All right, Bogmar, what is the first uh, item on the stained glass that you're touching? Spider. It begins to glow. Good. Bleeding eye. It begins to glow. Chained Oblivion. Which one was that? Spiral Naruto Sun. It begins to glow. And the triple arm. The goat seed? The triple goat seed? Internet nightmare. <laughs> Aurelium says, lick the symbol, see if it tastes like snozberries. <laughs> when you we have learned our <laughs> lesson about licking things. Yeah, it never goes okay. well. As soon as you touch the final. Um, As soon as you touch the final symbol, the entire um, stained glass window begins to glow a bright light to the point where you have to shield your eyes. And when you lower your hand again, the stained glass window is gone, leaving an open passageway. Guys, I don't, I don't have enough brain cells for this adventure, but let's keep going. Okay. You see an unconscious figure on the floor. Oh, who'd we find? An S. Oh, the giant S on the ground. It means snakes. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I will proceed with my eagle eyes to see the person that I see. Yes. Irvin is unconscious on the floor. I can see who it is. It is Irvin, yes. Last time you were surprised by that. I just put it on there because I figured... Okay. I can either have the picture of him or his floating nameplate. Okay. Uh, Cool, cool. There seems to be a chain around him. Shit. Hey, Irvin. You okay? Get up, buddy. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I just, like, splash some water on him from, like, ten feet away. As you move closer, you see the walls of this hallway are decorated with carvings of uh, supine figures and chained bodies. The floor is a, is covered by, originally, what you, Bogmar thought was snakes is actually a, a large nest of black chains. You hear wailing coming from a dark circular hole to the north end of the hall. Irvin is not moving. Can I... Maggie comes in to check on him and walks past the lane. <laughs> Oops. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Out, everybody move! <laughs> All right. Uh, up? I need um, Maggie to make a DC 15 deck save. Hmm. I'm sure she's good at those. not enough uh the chains fly off the floor and begin wrapping around her arms and legs bringing bringing her down to the ground prone is that a save or a check save oh right. no 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 on an npc it's the same unless you look underneath and they have a proficiency in it which maggie does not she is saving through her proficiency and strength and con otherwise you roll dex as normal 
So now Maggie and Irvin are on the ground, covered in chains. Maggie is struggling against it. Let's just go from top to bottom. Delane, what would you like to do as you see Maggie being pulled to the ground? Uh... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Can I... Would you like to lick the chains? No? Okay. Why not? This is a, you know, fantasy game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have. Uh, mm, God, uh, right. Hold your action if you like, or wait and see what happens. No, that seems really shady to do that. You can try and help her, but the chains I are all over the ground. Run up and help! Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I can pass you for now and come back to you. Yeah, that's fine. All right, go into Bogmar. Yes. I would like to try to help. All right, deck save. As you move next to Maggie. Dexterity save. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, no, you are also grappled by the train. The, the trains, the chain train. Shit. What the hell? Is no you have two inspirations, by the way, guys. Bodhi. Okay. Um... I'm putting a so, little net around the people that are chained up. Okay. Tiny net. <laughs> um. Oh, shit. I can also go to Thorn and come back to you. Um. Thorn can fly, so she might have better luck. Uh, so yeah, I will hold. Okay. <laughs> Thorn, if you decide to move forward, I'm still going to have you make the dexterity saving throw because these chains are animated. That's oh. fine. Um, I get advantage on those. Sweet. Let's go. Uh, so moving next to whom? Bogmar or Maggie or flying over Maggie to get to Irvin? Uh, Bogmar. Okay. But, you know, my rolls have been just swell today. You did it. Go. All right, Bogmar, you, you are go. no longer... Uh, uh, Thorn grabs the chain, snaps it off. Uh, you are no longer bound by the chains. You hear a voice saying, Imprison those who cannot resist you. Drag all life into the darkness. And you see that Maggie and Irvin are actually being pulled, and they look like they're being pulled into the walls. Uh, both characters, or all characters that are grappled, take... Eight points of damage. So I can can I use movement to drag Bogmar out? Uh, yeah, if you'd like. Okay. i drag Bogmar with me. J just to also give you a, a mechanical heads up, I'm, uh, now that you've broken the chains, I'm not going to have you um, roll again for this encounter. Just to move okay. things along. So, you are quote-unquote immune to chains for right now me or and bogmar Bogart. and delane or no delane never moved De delane embodied uh, bodhi never moved oh. in oh, we haven't done anything yet. all right but when you, you so everyone will have to deal with it one time but once you succeed or are broken free you're good cool okay all okay. right uh does that change what you'd like to do it. i just won't drag him out then all right does anything else If, I don't think I can do anything else. All right, I'm going to go in the same order, starting with Delane and working my way down. So, Delane, you're first. Um, is Maggie, like, trying to break out of the chains at all? She is. is. She so, basically, she because she's still conscious and she's so strong, I'm going to give you advantage on a strength check if you try to break her out. However, you'd have to move closer to her and you'd have to make your saving throw first. But you have two inspirations. Maggie can't do it on her own. She can she can try, but she won't be able to help Irvin and break out on her own in the same turn. Alright, I'm gonna... 
you can wait and I can try. Yeah, you don't have to move now. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm I'm not a strong character. All right. Then I'll skip you for now, and I'm I'm gonna go the same order I did before. I think after Glena went Bogmar. Yes. Uh. I will try to release Maggie from her chains. All right. Go ahead and make a strength uh, check, not a saving throw, but a check. Uh, you can use athletics if you have it, and you have advantage because Maggie's also trying. This is Maggie breaking out as well. Like that's what they're doing. Can I use? Can I have used my turn to guide? Yep. Bogmar? You can give guidance. Okay. All right. Strength check. With advantage. With advantage. With guidance. Do D four. Need- you you don't need to. You got it. They, you managed to pass it. So at this point, uh, break, the, break the chains hard. Break the chains hard. Uh, Maggie is now free. Oh. Uh, the only person left is... 20 on the dot. Uh, the only person left is Irvin. Thorn, I believe you're up and left. Bogmar has something else. I mean... Uh, can I try to get Irvin out as well? Or feel like uh, that's all I can do? Uh, no. Y- I'm not sure. Your action... You can move, but your action was to free um, oh, I'm Maggie. Oh, I see. All right. You good? Now I'm going to go to Thorn. No. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna fly up and try and free him. All right, same thing. Uh, you can roll, but he's unconscious, so you got to roll your strength on your own, no advantage, unless you decide to use the inspiration above. Uh, I'm gonna use an inspiration. All right, you have one left after this. And after- you said I can use athletics. That is correct. Okay. That is enough to free nice. him. And uh, I want to drag him out. All right. Well, he actually comes to. And, like, as you pull the chains off him, he wakes up. He's like, where where am I? The last I heard, I heard their voices coming from there, he says, looking towards the hole in the north. Oh. Who's, who's voices? Uh, uh, Io, uh, Dermot, the others. He's like, we can't leave we them. Have to go in the- so now you guys have a choice to make. If you decide to move forward, Delane and Bodhi will still have to deal with the chains. Everyone else can, but everyone else will be able to basically help you. Um, but you can either retreat, might be smart, or you know that Io and everyone else are down the hole. Do we? Or is it a trap? That, well, it could be a trap. You know that Irvin heard them down the hole. But down the hole is the only way. No, we have a door. Okay. Yeah, there's also we a door. Do uh, not in this room, but back the way you came. I don't know. Uh, Secret door were... us- with usually is the right way to go. And if he says he heard Io, my, I, I'm most certainly thinking about going that way. You don't really trust voices coming out of the hole. I don't either, but, you know, this is a hall full of chains that just tried to attack us. Delane, what would you like to do? Would you like to move? Would you like to try to get to the hole? Everything has tried to attack us, Delane. Can I can I approach the hole and give a listen? Well, this is not a time to... There are still animated chains everywhere, so basically I need you guys to make a decision here. I'm not going to have you guys fight the chains unless you take time to, like, listen to things and investigate things, in which case I will have the chains basically act against you. For sake of time, the only person I'm going to enforce the chain rolls on are Delane and Bodhi. But if you if you hang out and you know take seismic readings of the hole, then you will be attacked. Up to you. Can I check Irvin's vibe on insight check? Or not he at- you can guide yourself. So, uh, Irvin generally has a sort of aloof, sort of, um, you know, uh, you know, devil without a care kind of attitude, and you're seeing, like, actual fear in his eyes, and you're hearing uh, concern in his voice, uh, and he seems hell-bent on not leaving, as Thorn is trying to pull him back. He's like, no, we can't, they're there! And he's, like, trying to pull himself towards the opening in the north. I want to go for it. All right, cool. Deck saving throw. Uh, would you like to use one of the... T- you have two. Prima Nerda gave you another inspiration. Would you like to use it? 
Yeah. All right, cool. You guys have one left. Here we go. That is the exact number you need as you manage to make it all the way over to the end. Thorin, are you trying to grapple Irvin as you watch Delane go by, or are you just sort of letting him go at this point? No, I'll let him go. All right, he's also running towards the hole. Uh, Bodhi, you see D- Delane and Irvin are moving north. You don't, really, you kind of lose sight of them behind Maggie. What would you like to do? Everyone else is inside this room. You see the chains uh, moving. I guess I'll, I mean, I'll start heading after him. All right, deck save. Seems like he made a decision. Oh no! Ooh, critical failure. All right. Very at, nice. At this point, uh, Bodhi is tra- captured. All right. So, uh, Thorn, Maggie, and Bogmar. You see two things happening once. You see Delane and Irvin basically jump. I'm gonna. Uh, if I, I know Delane, you normally take more caution this, but basically, you guys be jumping in the hole. But at the same time, Bodhi's being pull- pulled down by the chains. So you two are in what I'm calling the safety zone for right now. It's far from it. Uh, but at that same time, Bogmar hears these chains <laughs> wrap around Bodhi and pull him to the ground. So uh, Thorn immediately flies back for Bodhi. All right, cool. Thorn's uh, athletics check. Uh, not with advantage because this has literally just happened. Just a regular athletics check. Just... No, unfortunately not. Uh, Bogmar has already acted this turn. Maggie has not. So would you like to use Maggie? Don't worry about spacing. Yeah, sure. Same thing. Go ahead. If you have athletics as a listed skill, you can click on that. If not, it's just strength. 25. With that, you manage to grab the chains. Uh, Bodhi, you feel yourself being lifted up as the chains are snapped. Maggie says, we must go after them. And she starts running towards the hole. What would the three of you in the bottom like to do? Is Maggie still holding me? Um, <laughs> like football carrying me? Yes. To the hole? <laughs> Let's say yes. <laughs> but ready to ready to toss you back if need be if you okay. don't want to go. What would you like to do? Okay, you see everybody rushing past me, and I yeah. run. Yeah. All right. right. These I'm chains like, are whipping, right, slamming right. against the stone of the corridor. You notice that Irvin and Delane, they're lost in this dark pit that they've just jumped into. Maggie jumps through, holding Bodhi uh, on her shoulder. The rest of you jump in after her. You feel a strange weightlessness as everything goes black around you. And at this point, we're going to end the day's adventure. Right. Oh, <laughs> decisions were made. <laughs> we'll see what happens next week on Table Hop. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to let your friends know if you enjoyed this actual play. If you miss an episode, you can also check them out on YouTube or uh, Spotify. Just look up Table Hops or Table Hops Podcast, and you'll find them there. Uh, Thanks to all my players for hanging out, and we will see you next Thursday at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, everybody.